This is the solution to quiz five. Okay, find the distance between two points. Okay, so the distance formula is the difference in the x's squared plus the difference in the y's squared, square root all of that. So now we just need to route things into their positions. So we could put uh, 1x there, the other there. We could put 1y um, there and the other there. Doing that, so that'd be 5 minus 1 is 4, so that'd be 4 squared, and then plus uh, negative 8 minus 4 is negative 12, so negative 12 squared, so that would be square root of 16 plus 144, which is 154, 160. So square root of 160. Okay, so find all the points such that the distance between 0 and negative 9, so that, that point is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and C3 is equal to 13. So all the points that are of the form C, 3 have the same Y value. same y value, which means that they all are on the same horizontal line, that is, this horizontal line. So what we're looking for is points on this horizontal line uh, that are distance 13 to that point. So that's the point 0, negative 9. So if there's one that's distance 13 over here on the right side, there must be another one on the left side. So let's find that, the distance from 0, negative 9, to C3. Okay, again the distance formula is right there. So the difference in the x's squared, well C minus 0 is C, so that'd be C squared, and then plus the difference in the y's, so 3 minus negative 9 is 12, so that'd be 12 squared. So the distance is c squared plus 144. And then now we know that we want the distance to be 13. According to the instructions. So that means that 13 is the square root of c squared plus 144. We can move the radical to the other side by making this 13 squared is c squared plus 144. Well, 13 squared is 169 plus 144. Subtract 144 from both sides. That's 25 is c squared. And therefore, there's two solutions. C is negative 5, or C is 5. Which is to say, 
that there are two uh, solutions on this line. There is, there is one, two, three, four, five. That's one of them. So that's the point five comma three. And there's another one. One, two, three, four, five. That is the point negative five comma three. And what this calculation is saying is this line segment has distance 13 and this line segment has distance 13. So that's 13 and so is that. Okay. Part two. Okay, so we want to use the calculator here. So let's just evaluate. So 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Minus 3 is negative 13. And then absolute value of that is positive 13. And then subtract 4, that's 9. So when you plug in negative 5, you get y is 9. So plugging in 4, or negative 4, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Minus 3 is negative 11. Absolute value is 11. Minus 4 is 7. And these will continue to go down uh, until <coughs> we get to negative 4. So then 5, 3, one, <coughs> negative one, let's check that, at zero, mm -hmm. at zero it's two times zero, minus three is negative three, absolute value is three, minus four is negative one, so if we plug in one, we get two, uh, minus three is negative one, absolute is, uh, 1 minus 4 is negative 3, so negative 3. Okay, and then if we plug in 2, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 3 is 1, absolute is 1, and then minus 4 is negative 3, so we get negative 3 again. We plug in 3, 2 times 3 is 6, minus 3 is 3, absolute of that is 3, minus 4 is negative 1. So now we're going to start counting up. So negative 3, negative 1. Uh, oops. So let's plug in all the points that we have. So negative 5, positive 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So now every time we move to the right 1, we're going to move down 2. And we're going to keep moving down 2 until we get to negative 3, which is right here. one negative three and then we get another negative three and now we start going up so connecting the dots and knowing that absolute value is shaped like a V pointy right there and between the two integer values beautiful okay so without using the plot perform a calculation to determine if 
that is in the graph. So which is to say, evaluate uh, at x, y is 2, 4. So plugging that in, so that means replace x with 2 and replace y with 4. So 4 is equal to absolute 2 uh, times 2 minus 3 and then minus 4. So that'd be 4 is equal to 2 times 2 is 4 minus 3 is 1. So that'd be absolute of 1 and then minus 4. Well, absolute of 1 is 1, minus 4 is negative 3. So 4 equal negative 3. That is false. And therefore, 2, 4 is not in the graph. Part D says do exactly the same thing, except make no mention of the calculation and rather use the plot. So here's the point 2, 4. So 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's the point 2, 4. And you can see clearly that that point is not on the absolute value plot. So it's not in the plot. And therefore not in the graph. <clears throat> okay, find the equation of the line through those two points. <clears throat> okay. So we'll use, we were not given a y intercept, and therefore we'll use point slope. Okay, so as for the slope, change in x, well that's uh, 1 minus 3, which is negative 2, and the change in y <coughs> is 2 minus 8, which is negative 6, so the slope is negative 6 over negative 2, which is 3, so that tells us the slope. <coughs> And then for the equation, y minus y1, so I'll use that because its numbers are smaller, so y minus 2 is equal to 3 times x minus 1, so y minus 2 is 3x minus 3, so y is 3x minus 1. So a quick check is useful, so if we plug in x is 1, 3 times 1 is 3, minus 1 is 2, so that's good. If we plug in 3, 3 times 3 is 9, minus 1 is 8. Very good. So find the equation of the line in the plot. So when you're doing this, just like we noted up here that we were not given a y-intercept, that's one of the first things you should check. So the line that's depicted here clearly has, an, has a y-intercept that's easy to see. So its y-intercept is uh, 0, negative 2, and that is telling us that b is negative 2. And then can we calculate the slope easily? Yes, I think so. So, uh, for example, from here, <coughs> this is telling us that delta y 
is negative 2, and this is telling us that delta x is 3, so m is negative 2 thirds. So because we're able to find the slope and the intercept just by inspecting, that means that we use slope intercept. we were able to figure out M and B. So the answer can be literally just written down. Negative 2 thirds X minus 2. And that's the answer.